In order to create a terrain that is a difference between two surfaces, we're going to use the terrain model create delta terrain model. Uh, this is equivalent to the isopac surface command. What I have loaded is a uh, original terrain and I have a design terrain and we're going to create a delta terrain between these two terrain models to give us a triangulated terrain model of the difference in elevations. So I'm going to use the create delta terrain model. Okay, I'm going to use terrain model to terrain model. I'm going to go ahead and pre-select my first surface is original, my second surface is going to be pr my proposed, and these are the terrain models that are imported. I'm going to do no vertical offsets. And then for the feature definition, we can set up and select the feature definition that this is going to assign to the new terrain model. Okay, so I'm going to data point to accept our terrain to terrain, our offsets, and we now have a new terrain model created for our uh, delta terrain. And you see for this delta terrain we already have our contours are displayed. Uh, we can turn on our triangulation to display the triangles of the terrain model. And since we're in this 3D model uh, we can rotate this view and see that The objects that are created for our new delta terrain are close to the zero elevation. They do have elevations because it is a delta terrain. Um, we can also do things to this delta terrain uh, such as labeling our contours. Uh, we can label spot elevations. So if we want to come in and label our contours, we'll identify our delta terrain and then we'll just label these contours. So these are elevation of zero elevation of 1 and we can just continue on and do spot elevation and that's how we get a delta terrain created similar to the isopac surface command.